mark a lot of people surrounding your airplane, but they're looking inside. They're not looking around, even though it's a very attractive little airplane. Tell me, what's so special about what Evolution has done to this aircraft? Well, let me give you a little walkthrough here, and I'll uh, try to explain it. So like uh, any modern avionics company, everything is driven with software. We just happen to look at this as an actual software business. So right here, you see a PFD, an MFD, and another PFD. Those are probably pretty common uh, elements that you've seen before. But what's different about this is these aren't specially designed avionics. These are actually uh, industrial displays, thousand nits, that's why they look so bright, that are connected to something called a Raspberry Pi. So for those who are unfamiliar, Raspberry Pi is a little computer you can buy on Amazon for about $45. We just hook the Raspberry Pi into the display, much like you would hook your TV into your DVD player. And uh, we run our software on those computers. They talk to other computers that are connected to comms and navs and transponders and so on and give you all the features that you want of your, uh, your airplane readily accessible um, through the PFD and MFD. We also built a little box here, which is kind of an interesting mix of touchscreen and non-touchscreen. So the reason people like touchscreens is because you can fit a lot of information on a little very small amount of space by repurposing things. Here, we see we've got the ability to control both comms, the transponder, the audio, and both navs. But what differentiates this is that these are still buttons that you can physically push. So if I am looking away, I can still reach over and hit the transponder on the third button, uh, even in turbulence or anything like that. So uh, a lot of people are uh, liking this kind of uh, data device. But all these are just controlling the same set of computers that live in the background and runs our software. We want to be able to give you the same kind of experience when you're buying avionics that you have when you go buy a computer. If you go to the store, there's five different vendors of computers, but no matter which one you buy, they all work basically the same way. You go buy a printer, you plug it in, and you know it's going to work. We want avionics to be that kind of experience where you've got choice and an easy way to integrate uh, devices that you might buy separately. Mark, for those who are looking at getting more information on what you're doing here, especially the obligatory questions, how much does it cost, when can I get it, where do I find it, how hard is it to put it in my airplane, so forth and so on, what's a 411 on this? Well, we'd like to encourage people to come to our website, uh, particularly xfs.aero, which is the website dedicated to this product. We're working to try to figure out which products people want us to actually bring to market of all these different prototypes that we brought out here and what kind of pricing they're expecting, what kind of licensing they're going to expect. And so uh, we, we're at a point that we really want to have uh, that kind of input. input. Mark, we certainly have enjoyed taking a look at what you're bringing to the market here. We look at, we're looking forward to seeing more important how it grows in the industry. And thanks for your time. Well, thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by Explore No Limits Flying in the newly FAA certified Sea Ray Elite Amphibious LSA. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Elite with a Rotax 914 turbocharged engine is equally at home on the ground, in the air, or on the water. Check it out at www.searay.com. Now certified Aspen Avionics single band ADSB ATX100 and ATX100G transceivers are the next gen ADSB solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at aspenavionics.com.